Hey folks, Micah McGee here. So you've got some pigs in a confined area and you don't want to put an open water trough because you know if that open water is available, they're going to climb in, they're going to dirty the water, and they're going to displace the water and it's going to become a muddy mess. They make something for that. It's called a nipple. Stainless steel pig nipple drinking water faucet. My neighbor also has pigs and he got these on Amazon and he wouldn't tell me how much they cost because I was wanting to pay him for this He gave me this so I'm gonna try to put this in this barrel Now this barrel is a con contained barrel. It's it's got those Lids on the top so I can't stick my hand down in there and thread a uh, Washer on the back or a nut on the back. So I'm gonna try to do a direct threading of this directly into the barrel, threading the plastic. If that doesn't work, I can make the hole bigger and I can use this and put that in there. But I can't do it with this barrel unless I cut the top out a hole big enough to stick my hand down in. Now right here is a spot that stands out. I don't know if it's thicker, but it's not thinner. So I'm gonna try that spot and see if we can thread it directly in there. I've got myself a drill bit here it is not the best bit for this job. It's a paddle bit. But I don't happen to have any other bit on hand, so I'm just going to try it. I'm going to drill it carefully and see what happens. Now the question is, is the hole too big? And I don't think the hole's too big. So we're going to get us some Teflon tape, wrap it on there, see if it works. All right, when you wrap Teflon tape on threads, always wrap it clockwise. That way when you stick it in there and start screwing it in, you don't have an issue of it unwrapping while you're, stick while you're screwing it in. But I really don't think that's gonna leak. Now when they come up and push on that, they push up on it and water comes out. That's the principle behind this thing. I believe I'm gonna try uh, to put another one in because when one of them's drinking, other ones are gonna to wanna to drink. And <laughs> if, uh, if they can't, they're gonna push, fight, argue, and well, I've got nine piglets, so what does that tell you? All right, here comes the water. We're gonna fill this thing up, see if it leaks, and also see if we can get them baby pigs to drink out of it. Of course, they're not gonna come right up to my hand and watch the water come out, but they'll nose it around on it and they will figure it out. Because we know one thing, there's nothing much smarter than a pig. The little rascals are something else. And fortunately, right here, under this tree, they got shade even though it is a very bright, warm day. We have lots of nice big trees all the way around this pen. And so they're comfortable. We've got leakage. All right, we had two of them leaking. One of them leaking moderately and one of them leaking severely. So the one that leaks severely, I am going to try my best. I re-wrapped more um, Teflon tape and I've got Lexel here, which I use in my roofing. That is a very strong, very good elastic sealant. It is not a silicone and it sticks very good. Silicone doesn't stick to much of anything. It won't even stick to silicone. So, Lexale, it's very good. We're gonna try it on this. It says instantly waterproof, cured sealant is mildew resistant, paintable, the tough elastic sealant for every job. It says sticks to wet surfaces. I haven't had great success with it sticking to wet surfaces, but I have had super success with it on metal roofing. So I'm gonna try this. 
What we do not want to do is get our caulk in that groove right there because that is where the water comes through to feed the pigs. All right, it says instantly waterproof, but we're gonna let this sit here in the sun for about an hour. Let that get a good seal to it before we put the water to it. And we're gonna try it out and see if it works. Now, if it don't work on the worst one, but it works on the other two, I can always drill a bigger hole and put that connector that I showed you earlier in the video uh, on that one. That is the reason why I did the self-tapping method first, because if one goes bad, then we always have that backup plan for one. So anyway, let's see how it goes here in a minute. All right, it's been well more than an hour. We've probably been three or four hours and the sealant feels very well cured. So we're gonna get this back into the corner. I'm not seeing any leakage. We're gonna open this up. We're gonna fill it on up and see what happens. Caleb's gonna show y'all how this works. All right, don't do too much. When the pig pushes up on it, the water comes out. Now it's yet to be seen, uh, you know, if this is gonna cause a mud puddle or a mud hole or not, but it's working. They're not leaking, we've got them sealed. And so we're pretty excited about that. And the little piggies are rooting around here eating. They've been eating some grass that my daughter mowed and throwed in here. And so... Long story short, that is how to install these pig nipple spigots. So at this point we can put the lid back on and screw it on tight to keep the junk out. And that will keep our spigots from getting clogged up. All right, folks, this is how you can go about threading them things on if you want to put them on that way. Then you don't have to cut the top of your barrel out if you've got this type of barrel. So if you like this type of stuff, just subscribe to the channel and follow along. Hit the like button, and we appreciate it. We're going to get on out of here. See you on the next video.